Okay guys, what is up, welcome back, and if you saw the video last night, you would know, well last night, as of when this is being recorded, it's, I, I just finished it, but if you saw the video last night, then you know I was talking about doing something that I wanted to talk about and kind of explain it. It's kind of about, well first of all, if you see the video behind me, this is actually me not playing, but it's... If you know the YouTuber, you're going to know kind of where this is going at right now. But right now, I kind of want to complain on sort of what's happening to YouTube again. I've done a few of these in the past and kind of touch on a group of YouTubers, but I'm not going to say anything. But in the video, it shows a huge hint on kind of that group that you may or may not know about. But kind of of this thing that I've noticed is starting to surface more and more as time seems to be going on. It's this idea of clickbaiting with YouTube and with a ton of new games that are really anticipated starting to come out. A lot of people are throwing up these videos everywhere where they're doing these fake videos on trying to say what's going on, giving you false information just to get you to click and watch the ad to make money. And it's starting to annoy me because I had a few YouTubers that I watched before Grand Theft Auto 5 came out, back with Grand Theft Auto 4, right after the round of Black Ops 2 came out, and a few YouTubers starting out, and I liked their quality and their videos a lot. And Grand Theft Auto 5 start was announced, they kind of switched over to news, and it was kind of fine because they were actually giving accurate news and everything. Then Grand Theft Auto 5 came out, PlayStation 3, everything was good. It never came out on PC. The heists were never implemented, and then these YouTubers kept making videos about heists and release dates and saying Rockstar said this, Rockstar said that, blah blah blah. When in reality, if you go over on, at the time, if you at the time, if you went over to Rockstar's page, you can see all the information they were saying is false, really. And it kind of stopped after Grand Theft Auto V kind of died down. It, the year changed, and it was before the first major DLC, the Beach DLC, anything was said about it. Then the Beach DLC came out, and they went back to this idea of Heist coming out. Heist is going to come out on this day, this time. Rockstar confirmed it, and... Around the time they were saying it was supposed to come out, a different DLC came out. And they just kept milking it because people were stupid and they kept clicking on the video, subscribing, hoping it's going to happen. And everything was good and dandy. Okay, yeah, they're growing. I kept watching. I was an idiot at the time, yeah. And then a huge sort of trend came out. And I don't want to blame Leafy is here. Or call him out on it because he does satirical videos everything's a joke so the whole idea of making a joke about if you like this video right now you will get like a fucking Apache helicopter in the mail in the morning and it's clearly fake he, he makes it clearly fake that he's straight up just fucking with you it's, it's not true anyone with half a brain is gonna not do it and even if you were a kid, like around six years old, first of all, why are you watching Grand Theft Auto if you're six years old? Well, that's a different subject for a different video. But recently, YouTube did end up putting out a huge update a few days ago, not a few days ago, about two weeks ago. And I've noticed these YouTubers that I'm right now talking about are starting to say there's this update with YouTube and trying to trick you into subscribing, like saying, if you press subscribe three times, you get this cool thing next to your name, you get verified, I've seen. If you hit like three times, I've actually seen one person say that your account gets verified. And I looked at sort of the like ratio and I noticed a lot of people, it had a higher like one, but then the comments were all like, dude, what the fuck, I'm not verified, etc., etc. And it's like, if you really fall for this, I'm sorry, but you have no one to blame but yourself and it's just like this is not what YouTube is meant to be seeing all these people that are literally just trying to trick you into doing stuff for the reason 
they just want to make an extra dollar. It's really, really sad, actually, just to see people saying you do this and you'll get something that you really, really want. And it's really sad because of how desperate some of these YouTubers are being just for an extra like or subscribe or an extra view to watch another ad just to get you to keep watching while you got other YouTubers that are out there actually trying to make quality videos, spending time, not like 15 minutes a day just to throw a half ass click baited video out there to get you to quickly quick click on the video, watch the ad, maybe watch 30 seconds and not watch the rest of it because you're like, oh, okay, this is bullshit. Why did I watch this? And while they already made their money on off view. And the point of it is not to really get you to stay and watch, it's just to make the money off it while YouTube is meant to be a place for entertainment, kind of like TV. It's not where you don't see... Okay. Okay, you don't see the news. Anything other than the news kind of tricking you into watching it, Fox News and that stuff. But you don't see, like, people, like, TV shows lying about what episode's going to come out, lying about a person's death, family guide, let's not talk about that with Brian. That's a different, that's a whole different sort of thing. If you are on a TV show, you kill off a player and then use a time paradox to bring the character back. That's a different thing. What I'm talking about is giving false information out just to trick a person into watching it and then making a video nothing about your title say that you're a youtube channel that do that mainly started on play call of duty games and then you end up start doing some glitches for call of duty and then all these glitches you're talking about are outdated one patch glitches but you're still saying they work and then when people start commenting in comments, oh, it doesn't work. Like, okay, try liking and subscribing. Maybe comment a few more times. Maybe then it will work. And it's like, this is not what YouTube is about. It's not at all what YouTube should be about. YouTube should be about a community where you can upload a video, help a friend, whatnot, or even just entertain someone, make someone's day, not piss someone off because it's, didn't work and the group of youtubers i think based on the very beginning it was in the bottom right hand corner you can go back and look at it if you didn't actually catch who this group of youtubers i'm referring to is but it may be kind of clear how i've been wearing this the one youtuber that i was following we do have a rage comp there is your biggest hint we do have a rage compilation on the one youtuber i'm talking about right now i'm not calling it out i probably won't even put his name in the titles because then it's I'm clickbaiting off a of clickbaiter, but I seriously have changed views on him. He was actually a really good YouTuber at posting legit glitches and everything, and then just everything went to shit really fast for his channel. So it's like I'm no longer watching him, no longer really supporting his channel and whatnot. So, however, you view what YouTube should be and shouldn't be, I think we can all sort of agree on it's kind of just fallen into this idea of people just want to make money it's a business now and it's no longer meant to just be entertaining just sit back watch a few videos laugh a little bit and watch someone play a game get that sort of feel of you're in the room watching someone playing a game no longer like that anymore so i would love to hear kind of what your comments are about this sort of subject where youtube is just turning into a bunch of clickbaiters and everything if you think it's happening then I would like to hear about it. If you think it's not happening and I'm just on the wrong side of YouTube, I do watch a lot of other YouTubers and I don't see it as much, but I see it mainly within the Grand Theft Auto community of gaming where it's just everyone just giving you false information. I was doing it for a bit, but I was actually going through Rockstar and people that were actually interviewing with Rockstar employees, I wasn't doing like speculations and more or less what people want from it and saying it's facts, so... That's really all I got for this one. Uh, the second video, I'm probably going to be asleep when you're watching this. I'll probably be hopefully up by 3 in the afternoon. I'm really hoping about that. So 
Everybody, please have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep getting you more gameplay videos. Like I said, hopefully I'll have my graphics card soon so I can get back to the stronger games my graphics card is right now is shitting out on me. I'm having to overclock it and increasing it slightly every day to the point where it's just not going to work anymore, and I'm hoping my new one comes. So. Thank you everybody for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you guys in the next one, and like always, stay real. Thank you.